In today's video, I have made a Minecraft mod that makes farming a little bit easier. Now, there is no download for this, but if you guys want me to make a download, then do let me know in the comments. But let's jump straight to it. The first thing we are going to need is some glass and copper. So now we have some glass and copper. All we need to do is throw this into a crafting table like so, and that will give us a capture jar. Now, the entity is empty because there is no entity, and I can pick up pretty much any entity within the game. So let's punch this squid, and you can now see it has a squid inside of it. Now, with this squid, I can do one of three things. The first thing I can do is I can move the squid around the world. If I was to click on a block, the squid would be released back into the world. The second thing I'm going to need is some diamonds and purple wool for the second use, and that is to make a essence table. An essence table is a block that will craft up essence. Now, this does work a little bit more advanced, and this is really vanilla but this is just to make the next stage a lot harder to obtain because you need to put buckets of lava in this top slot and it will fill this tank up you then need to put sugar or redstone into this slot and that will then produce some essence and you need quite a few of these for the next block we are going to craft we have to make sure the lava doesn't run out because it uses 100 lava every time it makes a craft so now we have a few of these we are going to need to craft up some essence blocks which is just nine essence and if we do this a few times as i think we need about six of these we need five of them and a lava bucket and that will get us a mob farm which is the next use for the capture jar this mob farm can then be placed on a container, a chest or a hopper to then produce whatever drops is put inside of it. So if we put a squid inside, it will spawn the squid on top and it will slowly produce what the squid produces. If we was to pick up a, another mob, for example, so let's just take the jar, let's throw this squid into the world and let's go and pick up a iron golem as that will be something that we could farm as that will produce iron and also some roses now the drops they produce is basically just their loot table so this makes the big massive iron farms completely pointless and you can turn it into basically a two block solution and this would be very op if they were really easy to craft that is why you need to craft this block to then craft up some essence blocks and then to combine them with a lava bucket so as you can see the squid ink is now being produced it will also remove one durability every time it produces a drop. And the Iron Golem has also produced some drops as well. Now there is one more use for this. And that is if we grab the jar once again. Now the next use for the capture table is a bit more advanced. Because you need four cobbled deep slate, four glass and one armor stand. And this gets you a mob display. This block doesn't really help farming. This is just a block to display an entity. As you can see if I put an iron golem inside of it. It will render the iron golem. The iron golem is completely invisible and it's not really there. It's just to use for decoration and things like that. And this can pretty much be any entity. If I was to place down an iron golem and pick up this cow. We can also have the cow render inside of here as well. And I think one of my favorite things to render is a sniffer. Let's throw the sniffer inside. And you can see we now have a invisible sniffer. So this can be used in quite a few different ways. For decoration or also for trolls. Now that is the mob farming part. The next part we are going to jump to adds two new blocks. The next two blocks we are going to cover is the block breaker and the block placer. This is the crafting recipe for the block breaker. It's some cobble deep slate, a dropper, redstone and a diamond pickaxe. And then the block placer is the same recipe, just a block of iron instead of a diamond pickaxe. And these basically work exactly how they say. So you place them down. This face right here is the direction it will break or place. So with the block placer and breaker, you can do something like this. If you place some blocks inside of the placer, and this can be inputted with a hopper as well. So blocks can go inside of this using hoppers. And then inside of the block breaker, you place a pickaxe. This don't have to be diamond. This can be any type of pickaxe. This one will place the blocks and then this one will break the blocks with whatever block is in this face. And then with a hopper underneath, the blocks instantly get picked up. And this can be used for so many different things. It can also do things like automatically wax copper. Because you can have a dispenser on this face that when the block is placed, it waxes the copper and then this block breaks them. But they will not activate if they are turned off. So if this up here is not red, they will not place or break blocks. So we can see this one is breaking the block. But no more block will be placed because this one is disabled. 
and if we turn it on, it will then place a block. These have been in Minecraft before. These were inside of one of the April Fool snapshots where you could craft these up, but these work a little bit different than the ones that we saw in them as they were kind of OP and so are these to be honest. And the final thing we are going to craft up is something that I think is my favourite feature within this mod that I made with help from Infinite. And this is the magnet block. It's crafted three redstone blocks, three lapis blocks and then three stone bricks. And this is a block that when you place down, it will pull items towards it. So if I throw these items on the floor, they will slowly be pulled towards the block. If you had hoppers underneath these blocks, they will then be collected by hoppers. So this block really does help big massive farms where you have like maybe a mob farm. Instead of having a load of hoppers underneath the collection system, you can just have a magnet block pull all the drops to a central point. It does also work with things like bamboo farms or sugarcane farms. By default, the magnet will only pull items towards it. It won't pull any mobs or anything like that. But you can adjust that with some upgrades. And there's three different types of upgrades. The first one is XP. And that will pull experience points towards it. And that is crafted like so. Oak planks, a bottle of enchanting and a diamond. The next one is a magnet upgrade for entities and this will pull mobs so things like zombies or the player and this is crafted some oak planks a zombie head and a diamond and the final one is the speed one which will increase the speed at which it pulls and that is crafted with a copper block a diamond and then some oak planks and an egg has just been pulled that that chicken over there laid so now if we throw in some of these, let's throw in the magnet upgrade. And if we now grab some experience bottles and throw these on the floor, you will now see they get pulled towards the magnet. It is kind of buggy, but that is something that I will probably fix if I make a release version for this. So it's a way you can have XP pulled to a certain location. You could stand on top of this and have just XP pulled to you and then you collect it. Now if we throw the entity one inside of this, this will pull entities towards it. So that chicken, you can see as the example, it is slowly being pulled towards this block. It can be used in quite a few different ways pulling entities. It can be put in the middle of a hoggling farm or a zombified pigling farm to pull entities to a central point where you can have them die on hoppers or even the player kill them with a sword. And when you put the upgrades in, it will do all three. So although this is pulling entities, it can still pull items towards it and it can also still pull XP towards it. I just made this mod for fun while I took a break from working on trails and tales plus and this is what i got and i think i'm happy with this mod also what features or items would you like to see minecraft add to make farming a little bit easier inside of the game and i think my favorite feature in the mod is the magnet block i definitely do think minecraft needs some sort of magnet whether it be an item an enchantment or a block but that is it for this video i've covered everything that this mod adds and if you want to see a download for it, do let me know in the comments and I'll maybe publish it on Curse Forge. But once again, thanks to Infinite for helping me with some of the textures and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!